Hey guys, welcome back. I am doing two challenges in one today. I am going to be working on the Craft IQ challenge, which is super fun because we get one layer of challenge every day until we complete our layout. The other challenge I am going to play along with is the Freaky Fast formula for October 2021, and that's a scrap room challenge. So let me start with that because I have the sizes of the papers to use. So the way it reads is choose a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper cardstock for your base, which I have right here, just a piece of craft. Um, and this is just one of the scrap room flavors of the month kits for, was it for September? Was it September? I had a sticky note somewhere about it. I don't know. Okay, and then we had to cut a piece eight by 10. So that's this piece. I chose this really campy looking piece. A two by nine. Is this a nine? Yep, here's my two by nine. It looks like a wood grain. A one and a half by eight. So I chose this one that has all of these great outdoors kind of words and I chose it to go in that orientation. A seven by six, same red piece with all these little camping words on it. And then finally a three by two and I chose the wood grain. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it was an August 2021 flavors of the month kit that I am that I pulled to go along with this. Now, the next thing I have is this set of pictures, and they're not great pictures, but they're fun pictures. And this is my daughter and two of her friends, and they were camping, and this is just a picture of their campfire that I thought turned out pretty well. Now, these are not good quality pictures, but I still think that they are useful to help me tell the story. Ta-da! Okay, so now let's get on to the first layer of the Craft IQ Challenge. Let me pull it up on my screen so I can share it with you. So we are supposed to take inspiration from this rather cool looking layout. And now if you go on Craft IQ, um, there's more information about it. So what I'm taking is the cardstock background. And the other thing I am taking is um, layering things like up the side like this. That's what I'm taking for my first layer. Now, I do have to figure out what configuration I need my pieces to go into. I don't really know, but I was thinking, since I, I liked the idea of some kind of a very strong vertical element, I was going to do something like this with the paper. I have wood grain going like this. I've got this cute red piece going like this. Um, I don't know what I want to do with these. I didn't think it fully through. I just started chopping papers. So I could cut this out of something else if I wanted to, if I want to cut up more of these pieces. It is a nighttime thing. So what size do we decide that was? Hold on, let me see. We decided that this one, maybe I'll do that with this blue starry sky paper. We, this is a one and a half by eight. So let me go ahead and just cut a one and a half by eight piece really quickly. Cause yeah, I don't really, I'm not really vibing on that tone on tone once I have them set up. So let me do this. Let me get it by eight. I will be with you in a moment on that. Okay, like that better. We've got some blue. And then, so we're gonna put that to the side. And then this was a three by two. And I think I'm gonna come in with another piece of this blue. So three by two. So three inches by two. Okay, change it up so I have two blue pieces. All right, I'm digging that. I think that will go well. Now, I showed you my photos. So these will be my two photos and I want them going in some kind of orientation on the horizontal. Great. So let's see. Oh, and my next prompt for Craft IQ is, because I have all of them by now, 
Um, I need torn paper. I need a long title. I need folded paper, flare, some kind of leafy bits, and doodling. So doodling might be easy. I can just do that around the outside of my layout. Now, all of these treasures right here, look at them. They're from Dottie About Flare, and my friend Scrappy Adam sent them to me. And I think there's some with little trees or something on them. So I need to hunt through all of my goodies to find them. And yeah, so that would be really fun to use some of his hair. Ooh, there's some leafy bits. You know how I said leafy bits? Wouldn't it be fun to do the leafy bits with flair? Oh, that would be fun. Oh, and then there's all these camo ones. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and there's the trees. Okay, there's trees. Oh, and there's some leafy bits. Okay. So I'm going to pull Scrappy Adams flare right there from Dottie About Flare. Let me get these pieces on. I want to tear a couple of my edges and I have to fold something. So let me get a little further along with this and I'll be right so back. I did get some pretty decent traction. I have all of my pieces down. I matted my photos twice and I tore the edges here, 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 and here because tearing paper was a thing. The next thing I need to work on, oh, and everything is attached down. So the next thing I need to work on is my long title. So I have this cute little banner piece that I popped some cheap craft foam up on. Great. And I think I want to say camp at Burt Lake as my long title idea. And I've got my very favorite font in the whole world, which is this font right here. There are thickers and they're called cedar. So I'm going to see how they look like wood grain. I thought that would work really well for this. So I'm going to get that long title down next. After that, oh, I have my folded paper. I already did that. I have to pick out which cute little flare to use, leafy bits and doodling. So I'm gonna work on this for a little while again and I'll come right back. So it looks like I fulfilled my Craft IQ challenge except for one thing. All right, so I have my, that photo inspiration that we talked about. I have torn paper, a long title, Camp at Burt Lake. I have folded paper, right here. I have flare, one, two, three pieces of flare. Leafy bits. So for my leafy bits, look at this sticker set that I have. Did I even tell you about which line I was using. It's Echo Park Let's Go Camping. I don't even know if I told you. I got so excited to scrapbook. So it is a scrap room kit. Echo Park Let's Go Camping. I had some of the die cuts. I had a couple of the little tiny paper clips. I have one right there. I've got the whole sticker sheet and I think I have six pieces of the pattern paper for this collection. <sighs> and then of course I told you that my flare were from Dottie about flare this time. These alphas are thickers and that is about it. Relatively simple because I use the Freaky Fast Friday um, sizes of paper and I didn't think too terribly hard about how I was going to do that. I just really went for it. What I'm doing here is messy doodling because if I try to do it nicely, I'm telling you, it just will not come out nice. So I'm going to do it a couple of times so that they intersect a little bit. And I hope you can see most of this. I'm trying not to take it too seriously. It's camping, so you can be a little bit more loosey-goosey with the whole thing. And if I have an enamel dot or something in my way, it's cool. It's great. Just stop and start again. Not a big deal. So this is it for this layout. Just some messy doodling, kind of crisscrossing a little bit so it looks like you're trying to be messy on purpose, which I'm all for that. Why not? And this will conclude this layout of my youngest camping with her pals. In Michigan this summer, she loves going camping, so it's very cool. So let me show you what we have. Taking care of two challenges at one because I am such a challenge scrapper. I think it's a blast. All right, I will take a couple pictures, upload them, and all that kind of stuff. 
and I will have links down below for the rest of the people who are hopping along in the Craft IQ hop. And is there anything else to show you? I think that's it for now. Okay, bye for now, friends.